Hey everyone. Um, I hate animals. And the thing is, is that there's just nothing good that comes out of working with them. I mean, they're incredibly annoying, they're really difficult to deal with, they constantly escape, and there's nothing I can really garner out of them that I can't get from other places, like from Hoglin Farms. Yet, what if one day I need a lot of wool for a project? On that blue moon, say, let's say I decide to set up a sheep farm, and everything's going excellently, and we've got all of our sheep snorted nightly, nicely into these pastures. By color, we've got 16 different colors, four sheep of each color. But when I turn around for a little bit, maybe to craft or something, I'm suddenly reminded of the horrors of any farming at all. Suddenly they've all escaped, and I have no idea where any of them went. And this might be to do with the fact that it's, there's no lights out, and it's suddenly night, and maybe it's creepers. No, it's probably unionizations. I've met their demands, and now they've agreed to go back to their places. But unfortunately, with the ways that their eyes are placed, they cannot see their own colors, so they've unsorted themselves properly. This leaves me with an unfortunate dilemma. I've got to resort them in the least amount of work possible. Obviously, the solution to this is to spend a significantly greater amount of time building a machine that will do it for me. Let's do it. So first off, why would we need to even do something like this? Honestly, I'm not even sure. Sheep have color. That means they can be sorted. So, I don't think I need any reason beyond that. So let's start from the beginning. How did we get from a problem like a batch of unsorted, un completely randomly colored sheep to talking about a machine like this? Let's talk about the how. How can we sort sheep? The game doesn't have anything that can directly read the color of the sheep. So we're going to instead shear the sheep, collect its wool, figure out what color it is, and sort it off of that. We're first going to probably put the sheep inside of a minecart, move it in front of a dispenser with shears in it, shear it, and then send it back on its way. But then I'm going to use that wool and figure out where the sheep goes. But the problem is, this is heinously slow. So we're going to use a technique called pipelining to make it faster. Pipelining is when you enter inputs into a machine before it's done handling them, and it kind of moves forward on like a conveyor belt. Here, I'll show you. With this example, if we first shear the sheep, collect its wool, and place it in this chest minecart. And then we send both of these on their way. Well, the moment this chest minecart gets sorted, represented by it hitting the detector rail, it'll derail the sheep. And we can have 16 of these for each color. And the moment it hits just the right color, it'll derail the sheep. But the thing is, is that the moment these two minecarts left the station here, we could send in another one. And this is what's going to make this really fast. We can pipeline it. And if we can even streamline this first step, we can start to make things incredibly fast and send this minecart on with its wool and the sheep away at lightning fast speed. Also, we're gonna be using this kind of rail system called a Den Bolt. And it's just gonna be much more reliable and much faster than using normal rails.
Okay, it's time to see it work. Something important to note is that we've actually got a command block running here that just immediately unshears every sheep, so we can immediately see what color it is, despite it just having recently been sheared. Obviously, the only the reason I built this machine was not just because you can sort color sheep because they have colors, but rather because I think the most fun and enjoyable things to design are by far the dumbest and most impractical ideas. There's no way I'd ever built this in a survival world and a lot like and alike any of my other machines. But I think it's really fun to try and design something to solve a problem that is inherently impractical by itself. And you can see just how fast this is, because that giant load of sheep, we've already completely sorted all of them. And that's it. Since this is my first video, I'd like to discuss what exactly I'm going to be putting in on this channel. I'm mainly going to be discussing all the various engineering topics that I've taken on, as well as a lot of projects that I plan on designing in the future, discussing how I design them, why I design them, and generally a lot of the obstacles I faced. Um, the next video is going to be on this, which is essentially just an overcomplicated anvil cannon that I use to destroy my items and garbage on my survival world capable of launching anvils over 100 blocks and hitting the same spot every single time. Anyways, that's it for the video. Please remember to like and subscribe if you want to stay tuned for that kind of content. Thank you, and goodbye.